Matthew 22, verse 37. The theme of this that I gave, the title is, the question that I want you to ask yourself is, do you love Jesus? Do you love Jesus? The question you all should ask yourself, the question I should ask myself every day, do I love Jesus? Well, that's what Jesus said we should do in Matthew chapter 22 in verse uh, 36. It says, Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Jesus himself said, The greatest commandment is that you should love me, that you should love my Father. And that's what his answer was. The greatest commandment is to love the Lord the, thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Matthew 22, verse 37, it's a great verse. You should memorize it, you should know by heart. You know, if I were to ask anybody, just like I asked today at the care home when I was talking about this, I, I guess everybody would probably raise their hand if I said, do you love Jesus? Sure, everybody's hand would go up. Just like the song we just sung. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because He first loved me. And we would all raise our hand and say, yes, I love Jesus. I love Jesus. And rightfully so. I hope that we do love Jesus. I hope that we can say, yes, I love Jesus. Today in this new modern age, in this new ecumenical movements and new evangelical uh, philosophy today, they say love is all that's important. That's the only thing that's important. The only thing that matters is that we just love one another. That we put all doctrine aside. It matters not that they don't believe in the deity of Christ. It matters not that uh, they believe that there's a literal fire in hell. It doesn't matter about that. It doesn't matter if they believe that the Word of God is preserved and inspired just as long as we love one another. Let's just all come together, break down all those walls of separation, and let's just love everybody. Let's hook up with the Catholic. Let's hook up with the um, Mormons. Let's hook up with the Jehovah Witnesses. Let's hook up with the Methodists and the Presbyterians and anybody, just as long as we are coming together under the umbrella called love. And let's uh, don't worry about our differences. Those are little petty things anyway. Because the greatest commandment is love. And they are right. The greatest commandment is love. But Jesus Himself... Coming to the first point is the test of our love. The test of our love. How can we test our love? Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Turn over to John chapter 14. And that's how we can test our love. John 14 tells us exactly how to do that. Jesus said to love me. Yes, that's the greatest commandment. But he says, I'm going to give you a way that you can test your love for me to see if you really love me. And this is what he said in John chapter 14. In verse 15, he said, if you love me, notice he said if, because everybody does not love him that says they love him. But he said, if you love me, break down walls of separation? No. Come together and try to win the loss? No. Uh, try to, uh, let's break down all the world of separation and let's just come together and, and unite in unison? No. He says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. That's how you can test your love tonight. Do you love the Lord? Be careful before you raise your hand. Because if you haven't been keeping God's commandments, you can't raise your hand. If you haven't been obeying the Word, then you can't raise your hand and say, yes, I love you. Because Jesus said, here's the test. Yes, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul and all thy mind. But yes, let's go. I'm going to give you some way you can test them. I'm going to give you some way that you can prove your love. And that is... Keep my commandments. Naturally, we got three daughters. Everybody pretty much knows that. If you don't, know them, then you should know that. But, you know, if they say, Daddy, I love you, they might snuggle up beside me on the couch. They might want to snuggle up beside me, give me some sugar, or, 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 or go get my sweet tea. And Boy, I, I like that, go get my sweet tea. And fix me my supper sometimes. And, and sometimes one of them will say, Daddy, you want me to go fix you something to eat? And, and boy, that's good, that's good. And, and they like to show their love for their dad, but boy, if they say they love me, but yet they don't keep my commandments, then I question their love. I question their love if they say, oh, daddy, I love you. But yet, they break the rules that we have in our house. And hey, you can't, you can't watch TV. You can't just listen to any old radio program. Uh, you can't, you can't uh, get on a computer without, uh, without permission. And hey, you gotta, you got to do your, uh, your own devotions before you do certain things. You come home from work, you got to do your devotions first before you spend time doing what you want to do. 
Boy, if they begin to break those rules and they begin to lie to us and begin to sneak behind our back doing something they're not supposed to, and yet they say, I love you, Daddy. Then I begin to question that because because they're not obeying me. Because they're not obeying me. Those on the camera didn't see what just happened. So y'all have to forgive us and we'll have to explain it to you later. But anyway, we have people falling into fall here. But anyway, lost the frame thought. That loser was eating Richard's frame thought. <laughs> but anyway, God said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Keep my commandments. And that's what we're supposed to do. My girls, as they say, Dad, I love you. But yeah, they don't keep my commandments. Then I question that love. Hey, you know, our Heavenly Father, we are the children of God if you're saved. That's what the Bible says. But if we say, oh, Lord, we love you. Oh, we're going to raise our hand there. But yeah, if we don't obey His Word, if we don't keep His commandments, then God says, mm, they don't love me. They say they love me with their mouth, but with their, with their actions and with their hands and with their feet and with their, with their eyes and with their body, they, they disobey me. Therefore, they don't love me because they haven't kept my commandments. That's why He said, if... You love me. Keep my commandments. Remember over in John chapter 21, we won't turn there, when Jesus specifically asked Simon Peter, Simon Peter, do you love me? He asked him three times, do you love me? Peter, oh yes, Lord, I love you. I love you. Jesus told him to do something. He didn't tell him to go break down the walls of separation. He didn't tell him to, to forget about doctrine. Don't keep his commandments. Look at um, chapter, verse 21 in chapter 14 here in John 14. Look at verse 21. What does it say there? In the first couple of lines there, Jesus again said, He that hath my commandments, you got to have them. Here we have them in the King James Bible. And keep it there. It ain't enough to have them. It ain't enough to carry a King James Bible around. But you got to obey it. you got to keep God's commandments. He it is that loveth me. He that keepeth my commandments. Again, the test of our love is based on us keeping God's commandments, based on us obeying our Heavenly Father. Look at verse 23. Again, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will what? Keep my words. Matthew 4, 4, Jesus said, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Every jot and every tittle is important to God. And he says, I want you to keep it. He that keepeth my word. It's that person that loves me. Not the person that disobeys my word. Not the person that says, oh, I love the Lord. And then they break all of His commandments. They break His word. They, they, don't, oh, they don't pay attention to whatever it thing else says. All they do is focus in on uh, Matthew chapter 22, verse 37. and say, oh, I'm just going to love the Lord. I'm just going to love Him. That's the, that's the main thing. It's the main thing. But there's some other things we've got to do with it. And that's to obey His commandments. Look at chapter 15, verse 10 of John. 15, verse 10. Again, Jesus said, What? If you keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Abide in God's love. Our relationship won't be broken. But our fellowship with God can be broken because we have not kept His word. When my girls are disobeying me, yes, our relationship hasn't changed, but our fellowship is broken because we have not kept His word. And therefore, just like God and us, when we disobey God and we don't keep His Word, our fellowship has been broken. Our relationship is the same. But He that keepeth my commandments, He shall abide in my love. We can continue in God's love and abide in fellowship with God. Look at verse 14 of chapter 15. Again, Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. You know the date time, you know that's all. You will not be my friend, you ain't got to do what I say. Well, Jesus said, if you don't be my friend, you better do what I say. If you love me, keep my commandments. God has a condition on his love, my friend. A lot of people say, oh, you can love God unconditionally. You can. God loves you unconditionally. But God says, if you're going to love me, you better keep my commandments. If you're going to be my friend, you better keep my commandments. That's what I've given to you. I've told you about my word. I've given you the words that my Father gave me, and now I want you to keep them. Yes, love me. 
But if you're going to love me, keep my commandments. Look at chapter 14 again, verse 24. Look what does Jesus say about just the opposite? He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sins. The person that does not love God is the person that does not keep His commandments. A person that never comes to church and does not obey the commandment given in Hebrews chapter 10, the forsaking of the assembling of ourselves together, that person, God said, they don't love me. Oh, they might say, they might say, oh, I read the Bible all the time. They might stand on the front porch while you witness to them. Oh, I read the Bible all the time. I'm always reading. You never see them in church? They don't, they're not a member anywhere? They don't go anywhere? They just stay at home and they read the Bible all the time. That person doesn't love God. God says that person's lying. That's what it's saying. A person, just like today, we was at the home and and uh, we went over to visit um, John and uh, his uncle and we went out back and he said there's some people back there and out there and, and, and we met a, a singing group, a man and his woman, singing group, Christian singing group that is smoking cigarettes. You got to go to a church in just a few minutes to go sing. The people don't love God. The people didn't see him. She had pants on. She wasn't in, in a dress or a skirt. She had pants on. Smoking his cigarettes, and he was smoking a cigarette to the rest of them. And, that, and they'll say, if I were to ask them, hey, do you love God? Oh, yeah, I love God. We're going to sing amazing grace in just a minute. We just want to bless people. Then people don't love God. That's what the Bible says. If you love me, keep my commandments. That lady wasn't modest. They weren't uh, 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 abstaining from the appearance of evil. They were putting something wicked in their body. They don't love God. Oh, they say they love God. They will sing the songs of Zion. They might carry a King James Bible, but in their actions, they don't love God. Oh, they'll get to heaven one day and say, Oh, Lord, we loved you. We loved you. They say, You didn't love me. You didn't keep my commandments. God's commandments are important, my friend. Every word of God is important. It's so important that God said that if you love me, then you'll keep these things. I wrote down just a few commandments. Just a few. There's literally thousands in the New Testament. People complain, argue, say, well, you know, have to keep the Ten Commandments going. Woo! Well, there's a whole lot more than that in the New Testament, my friend. In fact, the New Testament uh, contains the Ten Commandments. They're in there. In fact, they list them in one place. So therefore, we are supposed to keep them. But anyway, here's just a few that I gave today. We're not going to turn and look at each one. I just want to list them. It is a command for a man not to touch a woman unless he's married to her. It says that in 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 1. Girls, when you're dating, it's a sin if a man touches you. If a guy you're dating touches you, tries to put his arm around you and hold your hand or kiss you and force himself on you, that's a sin. He's some Christian, you ought to slap his face. Say, you don't think put me a striker. And I think he'll be a preacher, so everybody slap his face and say, take me home. And if he won't take me home, you're going to call me and I'll need you. Leave him alone. You know why? The Bible says he's a sin. You keep his hands off of him. You'll keep your hands off him too, by the way. Keep your hands off of him. Now, if you fall down and hurt yourself, then you ought to be a gentleman and help you up. But it's not right for a man to touch a woman. Man, how many times I've seen people dating? Those be going to Christian churches and Christian schools and Christian colleges and people that are grown and, and, and they'll say, well, that's okay because we're grown. That's okay. No, it's wrong. It's called sin. The Bible says don't be touching a woman unless you marry her. Then we won't be touching any woman. We won't be touching any woman. We won't rub Jack be touching you anymore. You know, shake your hands and so forth. You know, you got common sense. But, you know what? So many people do that, they don't think nothing of it. They think nothing of it. I was talking to a young guy this past week. Talking to a young guy this past week. And uh, I, I told him about this person. He said, I didn't know that. I said, yeah. He said, so touching, uh, holding hands is a sin. I said, let me ask you something. I said, I quoted the verse to him. I said, is holding hands touching? Yeah. I said, so is it a sin? Yeah. I said, so if to holding hands is touching, it's a sin, my friend. I, he said, well, I know what the world says. They say, well, it's not sexual. My, my friend, I explained to him in very detail that it's very sexual. It's very sexual. I'll get into that here. But I explained to him that it is sexual. So 